this is a little bit of an uneasy day in Ninerland, and I think it's fair to sort of look at how they got here, some questionable decisions they made in the offseason. Dare I say mistakes? I'm saying mistakes. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the quarterback spot first. Okay. So one thing, I mean, I'm going to take him back even further. Let's go to 2018. So I was looking last night. I was pissed after watching this game. I'm like, what is wrong with these guys? You know, a little overreaction maybe. Um, I started looking at the numbers for for Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm like, um, because to me, when, and this isn't against Jimmy. Pretty much everything I'm saying right now is not against Jimmy. This is about Parag. Uh, this is about John Lynch. This is about Kyle Shanahan. Um, so I started looking at Jimmy's numbers. He signed a contract for 137 million in 2018. Um, since then, from that point until now, the 49ers have paid Jimmy Garoppolo 111 million. So I was like, damn, that's crazy. Right. So I started, which is 27 and a half million per year. It's crazy. So I, if, and I, so I started, and they're going to pay him another 27 million if they keep him on here and don't restructure his contract. Um, so I started looking like in that same time frame, uh, what did Tom Tom Brady make? Tom Brady made seventy eight million. So we paid one hundred eleven million for Jimmy Garoppolo. Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, made seventy eight million dollars, nineteen and a half million per year. Then I was like, well, what about the two time MVP back to back, Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers made ninety eight million in that time frame. 24 and a half million per year. Oh my God. So this contract, no matter what you think of Jimmy, is a what about shit. Kirk? What about Kirk? Did Kirk make more? Kirk made more, right? I, I, didn't, I didn't look at Kirk. He got all that guaranteed clear. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't look at Kirk, but you're comparing the best two quarterbacks in the game. The, one of the best quarterbacks of all time makes less than Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, here's the other thing Jimmy Garoppolo has missed 35% of his games. All right. So you're paying that much. You're paying more for Jimmy Garoppolo who's per, per game. Yeah. That he's actually game, he's played 65% of his games. Whereas Tom Brady, Aaron, Rod or Aaron Rodgers. Are they getting like two mil, like two mil a start? Two it's million? like two and a half per game. Yeah. This, so this is, this was. And then people saying the Niners have to do right by Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, they did right by Jimmy Garoppolo. They did two right by Jim, two and a half million a game. So the Niners could run. So he could hand off. Man, only in America, only in and America. They, and, you know, the thing is about Parag, everyone says, oh, Parag is this hardcore negotiator, right? He's the one responsible for this awful contract, right? And they did it five games five games after, you know, he played five great games. He did good. And then they gave they him. They tagged him. They made him the highest quarterback in, in the highest pick. If quarterback they tag him, do you think he goes from that offseason? Do you think he comes in uh, unprepared the way he allegedly was? I don't know. That's the thing. That so that's one of the things, and we'll talk about that more. But I think the Niners have a big problem paying guys too soon when you don't need to. Like, right? If, from a player's perspective, good for you, man. Like, good for you, Jimmy. Good for you, yeah. Debo. I'm glad you got paid. And that's got to be your number one priority. I don't blame you at all. But if you're running an organization, why do you continue to pay people so much money when it's well known that players in the NFL tend not to play the same for the most part after they get to bed, right? To me, I think this is a Kyle trend. They didn't used to be this way. I mean, Trent Balky used to be a, you know, he used to play hardball. Kyle is the good guy. He's not Coach Shanahan. He's Kyle. And he, with the best players on the team, he's friends with them. He's friends with Debo. So you remember that? We're, we're friends. Okay. Well, you're going to, you won't be friends if you don't give him the bag. <laughs> like, he's not going to like you if you don't, if you're like, we, you know, we're really cool and we're going to talk before practice in my office, but we're going to go year to year with you, Debo. We're going to tag you. Like, right. End of friendship. Done. So, so like in, in regards to Jimmy and Trey, so that was the first mistake that I wanted to, to bring up, right? The second mistake, what I think the 49ers should have done after they drafted Trey Lance before the season last year. They should have done two things. They should have either traded Jimmy then because it's well known that they could have got a second round pick for Jimmy at that point and just let Trey do his thing so he could learn last year. If you're not going to do that, what you need to do is create competition and give Trey an actual chance to compete for that starting job last night. They really never did. It was Jimmy's team from the get go. So think about how everything is now because of how awkward it is and how they set this whole thing up with Jimmy and Trey. If last year all they said was, hey, Jimmy, 
we love you. You get injured a lot. We, we need an insurance policy. That's why we drafted Trey. We want both of you guys to go out there and compete. Best man wins. <clears throat> what if they did that? I mean, and, Carolina did that this year, right? Right. And, and, they did it. Yeah. And, and they could, if they did that last year, they could have done it this year. Right? right. They could have done it again this year. Same thing yeah. now. Trey, Jimmy, go out there and compete. Competition makes it. The whole good. team knows the best quarterback is playing. It was determined. Right. You know, right. we're all on the same page here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And competition, competition will make both of these guys better. Not paying Jimmy the bag probably would have made him better. He had to continue to earn it. And not only that, if if you don't just dismiss Jimmy, okay, this is Trey's team. We're done with Jimmy. Now Jimmy's trade value is a lot higher than it is right now. So if you really wanted to trade Jimmy, let him compete. Let him know, let the world know that you think he's able to compete with Trey Lance for the starting spot and either make him the backup if he doesn't beat out Jimmy or beat out Trey. Or now you're now his trade value is legit because you actually gave him a, a chance to compete. And he's not like the ugly stepchild in the corner throwing passes on the practice field. Yep. You yeah. know, which is the most awkward Cinderella recreation you could imagine. Right. And, and you, you, you undercut yourself with his trade value. Yeah, you did constantly. Every, every step of the way, the Niners made his trade value less. Mark says Niners overconfident and Trey Lance didn't invest. Yeah, they're overconfident in Trey Lance. That's pretty much what we're saying in this show. No, 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 they're not overconfident. If only they were. You just, yeah. I thought they knew something that we didn't know uh, when they gave up all those picks for Lance. I was like, oh, wow, Kyle is really making a statement here. But ever since then, they're like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They didn't even That's let pretty much been their attitude. Yeah. Yeah, David says the last crappy season we had, we at least got Bosa out of it. We have a crappy season this year. We uh, won't even get a top prospect. O line is a major question. Well, as long as they have Bosa and Debo, like they're going to win week one, even without, like, right? They're going to win week one. Yeah. They're still going to win more games than they lose, most likely. 